and the God of Jesus is only one person. If you ask who did Jesus worship, they say only God the Father. Who they worship? Who do they worship? God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So who is the way? Who is the way? Jesus or them? Then? So they are not following. They are Antichrist. They are the Antichrist. I am saying everyone here, Christians are the Antichrist. Ask her. The unknown. The Gospels. I don't think she may, uh, and Amy, shall I ask you a question? You tell me the authentic, <laughs> guys, authenticity of the Bible. Sister, I ask, her, ask her the surnames of the disciples. <laughs> What's the surname of the disciples? Tell us. Unknown authors. What's Muhammad's surname? Where's this Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Abdul Muttalib? We know Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib. Yes, I just told you. So tell me the second name of the disciples. Mark. What's the surname of Mark? None. What's the surname of Mark? Yeah. What's the son name of Matthew? Okay. What's the son name of Luke? No, no, no. Mother, wait. Okay, that's fine. So now I'm asking. This, I, I with this. She, kept, she kept on saying there's a difference. No, 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 She's I not can. answering my question. I she said I that, can, uh, but that I Jesus was not a, 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 a man God. He was a God man. So I'd like to know what's the difference. It doesn't say Now, Amy last time admitted that she, she doesn't have the original okay, Gospels. I I, I she admitted last week that she doesn't have the original Gospels. And I can prove now, I can prove the Bible is not 100% the words of God. I can give you many verses in the Bible. Do you want, do you accept the challenge? Come, feel free. So now I'm asking. Come, we had this talk before. No, prove. No, no, no. Tell me what I told you. Okay. Tell me what I told you. Okay, you told me. That the Bible is. Shall I answer? Yes. Yes. You believe the Bible is inspired by God. There you go. Done. Okay, even that one I reject according to the how, own how so? to Bible. How Shall so? I? Shall I? Okay, now listen everyone. If I give my own opinion, my own opinion, an opinion. wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so like if I give my own opinion and I have no command from God, can that be inspired by God? No. Yes, it can. No. no. Wait a second. Pause. Paul. Pause right there. Paul. Wait. If you look at the Psalms. If I right? give my own opinion. Solomon and Stanley. If I give my own opinion and I have no command right? from God, that, God that can that, that be music. what God inspired? Yes, it can be. That's no. How it works. No. Just, it doesn't work that. It wrong stuff. It doesn't work you're that. Saying the word inspired. It's not me well, saying. It, you're saying the word inspired. Shall I give you the verses? The examples you're given are dictation. No. Shall I give you the verses? Inspired does not mean dictation. Can you accept? Inspired. Let me give you a verse. Okay. Paul People, said. Real quick. Okay. Siraj over here is refusing to understand what inspired means. In Christianity, okay. we understand the Bible to be the inspired listen. word of God. What that means is whether it is music in the Psalms, whether it is historic, historical in Jeremiah or Isaiah, everything that is written by men is guided by God. So men write their accounts of things while well, God in the Bible. Wait, 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 brother, wait. I'll come to that point. No, I'll come to that point. I'll come to that point. It is not done so by God telling them what to write, but God inspires them to write this to the spirits. Okay? We don't believe that God talks to people and tells them what to write. That's a Quranic claim. So, shall I answer? Okay, so now, so now let me come to the point. Christians always say, quote, where and Paul said in the, in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. It Listen, says all, yeah, all, all, all scriptures God breathed. Yes, God breathed all scriptures, which means, which means, okay, let's wait. Which means, according to Christians, according to this verse where Paul said all scriptures God breathed, they say 100% God inspired the Bible. So now, if I come to the same Paul guy, same guy, do you know what he said in the gospel and not gospel? 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 6 again chapter 7 verse 12 again chapter 7 verse 25 again 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 17 Paul said I have no command from God but I give my own opinion so my question is how can my own opinion when I have no command from God how can my own opinion inspired by God no way, there's no chance. And Paul is the only person who claimed that all the scriptures is God breathed. 
Luke again, the Gospel of Luke, you know what he said? Chapter 1, verse 3, after I have investigated everything, I have decided to write an account for you. Who decided? Luke decided what? To write an account by himself, by his own opinion. He decided. John never said the gospel and all the scriptures is inspired by God. And Luke never said that. Matthew never said that. And, and Matthew and Mark never said that. The only person who said that is Mark and Paul. Last time, last week, I asked him if all the Bible is inspired by God. He said yes. So now I'm asking if all the Bible verses inspired by God, why can you not believe the gospel and 1 John 5, 7? Why can you not believe? This guy, he believes 1 John chapter 5, verse 7, it was later edited. So if, if you believe that verse was edited in the Bible, how can you tell me all the Bible verses is inspired by God when you believe 1 John 5, 7 is edited? Contradiction. That can never be what like God inspired. So now I'm challenging okay, so Matthew. Now Matthew. Do you have any ideas to write, right? What God inspired? Can you answer my inspired? question? How? You tell me. Well, what criteria? Do you believe do you 1 John 5 7? Listen, everyone. Do you believe? Do you believe 1 John 5 7? I told you last week. It was edited, yes? It wasn't edited, but the oldest manuscripts don't appear to have it. At yes. All. See, and he the said. The reason that we one... know this okay, is because we actually have our old manuscripts. Whereas, unlike the Quran, you guys don't even have the earliest copies of the Quran. The Ubani copy, the five copies he made. So no one has. Now, wait, 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 so wait, wait. Allow him to speak. The same thing there, where because you don't have the copies, you have no idea what was added in later into the Quran, and what was there from the very beginning. So, Christianity, on the other hand, we have that, so we can contrast and compare what we have now and what was there then. So, now, he said, according to him, He's not sure whether we have the original manuscript That's of the Quran, according to him. But we Muslims believe we have the original Quran. It was never it, changed. But, but, but I, now, I where is the copy that Uthman look now. Made? The no difference. Wait, 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 wait. The difference between me and him now is what I can tell you. He believes one John chapter five verse seven. It was later edited. It was not in the original manuscript. But me personally, did I claim the Quran was later edited? No. But he claimed his book was later edited well, if it's Quran edited how can bible the bible be inspired by god when you believe it was later edited i didn't you tell, tell me you that, that the, I, that's why you just you. said the 1 bible john 5 7 wait, it second. was not the in the thing that you need to understand is that the bible the collection of books <laughs> no okay because no. <laughs> sorry Let's, wait wait sorry? wait brother wait <laughs> Really? Wait, brother. Okay. Can no. you prove he's, it, he's, sir? He's drunk. He's drunk. Ah, how? Hey, he's drunk. Okay. He's drunk. <laughs> Come on. Ignore him. Ignore him. I, yeah, I know. Ignore him. Ignore him. Thank you. All okay, right. now. <laughs> so now, what so, I'm asking? So now, the I repeat Bible for you again. Is a collection of books. I did, it is I, not one. Am I discussing about book. whether the Bible is because a collection of books or not? Books. Am I discussing about that? Within no, books. I'm not discussing about that. Brother, By God, uh, David, just come on. because David. you have First John five seven, which you, wasn't I'm repeating again. Listen, okay. everyone, yeah. Do you believe one John um, five seven? Uh, like I told wait, you. wait. Do you believe like, like one I John five seven? Apparently, you believe it was added in later. It so was later edited. Thank you, Allah Akbar. Uh, so how can you come here and preach a book which you believe it was later heaven, edited? That there is a fire See now. The so See now. Because of these verses, we don't actually need to rely on First John five seven to prove a trinity. We have many other verses that we can draw from. So because that one verse wasn't there in the earlier scriptures, that's fine. We still have many other scriptures in the Bible that point to the same conclusion. There imagine, okay. Done. So now imagine, and you know what Paul said? He approved people to lie about Jesus. The definite of Jesus, Paul approved. Shall Those I give you the verse? Words are nowhere in the Bible. Okay, go to no, Philippians 1.18. Do you know what Paul said? Philippians 1.18. Paul Let's said, bring it out. It's okay, true. I'll prove it for there you. you. Go. Philippians 1.18. So don't forget, Siraj said that Paul approved the yes. lie. Yes, about Jesus. Don't, don't forget that. Yes, so I have if it. If he doesn't say that, then it's a problem. Okay, I have it. Philippians and Siraj, week in and week out, okay. is making all these like, like okay, here. random portions. Philippians 1.18, I'm so showing you. Wants, I can make it something about the Quran if he wants to. No, no, it's here. Philippians 1.18. It says. No, why, why is it showing that me? That Paul approved people to lie. Lying is haram, man. Yes, I'm, I'm showing you, wait. 
I mean, you can lie in Islam, but you can't do it in Christianity. Here, Paul Philippians 1.18 says, he said, but he found, he's seen some people lying about Jesus. You know what Paul said? He said, but what, let me come back to the context. Philippians 1.17. He said, the former preached Christ out of selfish, self, selfish ambition, not sincerely, supposing that they can stir star up trouble. Should I? Yeah. The yeah. former preached Christ. Uh, you read for yourself. Philippians 1.17. Yeah, the read. former preached Christ yeah. out of selfish ambition, yeah. not sincerely, yes. supposing that they can stir up trouble for yes. me while I'm in chains. Okay, here it says 18 what? 18 says... But what does well, it matter? Well, what you does it matter? Listen for yourself. The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives, or false true, motives or true, Christ is preached. Thank you. And because whether what? Of this, I rejoice. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice. So okay. what Sarah said was that uh, Paul approved what did you read here? people to lie about Jesus. What that verse is saying is that some people preach Jesus Christ for their own gratification. Look at me, I know the Gospels, and other people don't. And Paul said, no matter which one of the fence you're on, as long as Christ is what is being preached, and that's all that matters. In the same way, on this park, some Dais preach about Allah for their own gratification. You could say that no matter if they're preaching about the context is not what you say. You finish then I'll speak. Or for someone else that as long as I've been talked about, and that's all that matters. Okay. There you go. The context here. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. The context is what I said, not what Saraj said. The context the here. Here is the context. English is plain English here. Okay, go ahead. Paul said, after he found out people lying about Jesus, Paul said what? But what does it matter? The important thing. Please wait. Thank you, sir. Paul said here, the Show most me important. The word lie. Wait, wait, Show listen. Show me the word lie. Okay, here. Yeah, Show I'm coming. No, I'm coming to the point. Okay. Paul said the most important thing is that in every way. He said what? The most important thing is what? In every way, whether from false motives. Skip it. I'll, I'll come to it. He said whether from false motives. Or true, Christ must be preached. What are the false motives? When they motives? said what false they? motives, is false motives not lying? No, it's not. What is Siraj. it false motives? Siraj, you, you preach people in terms of false Siraj. motives. Can you just memorize the verse that came before? What's false yeah. motives? That some people. What is the meaning of false motives? For their own self gratification. The That's most the important motive. thing is what, Please according to here. Paul, Bring he said. No, not me saying. Paul is speaking. Said the most important thing okay. is that in every way. Everyone. Whether from false you motives. What oh, wait, here? can I finish? Can yes I finish? No. Can I finish? No. So, can what I finish? happened here is that people can were I preaching about Jesus, a moment please, for his own self gratification. For example, I can come here and show how good I am according to scripture, but I'm not doing it for God, I'm doing it for myself. So, when Paul talks about whatever motive, he means if you're preaching about Jesus Christ for your own gratification, or sincerely, you want to call people to him. The important thing that's being done is that Jesus Christ. I didn't is explain about. yet. There yet you go. The Let me speak, please. Paul said the most important thing is that in every way, One whether way. from it's here. The, the other One ways way. is here. Whether from false motives. Which are? False motives or true motives. What's the false motive? Which means true motives is something really, yes? Nope. True. Go back one And verse. false motives is what? Fake motives, Go lying. Back one verse. What's false motives then? Go back it says one whether false, from false motives or true Christ is preached. Okay. And he said what? And because of this, preaching from false motives or true, he said because of this, I rejoice and I will continue to rejoice. Yes, because See, Christ he's is going to rejoice about. people to preach Jesus, whether it's from false motives no. or true motives. Siraj, That's it. Back. 